Good morning all. How are you? I hope you all are fine. Okay. In our last class, we studied what is elements, classification of elements and name of elements in metal and its symbols. Name of elements in non-metals and its symbols. Okay. Today we are going to discuss the properties of metal and non-metal. Okay. First we will discuss the Physical properties of metals and non-metals. See, physical properties of metals and non-metals. Okay, the first one is physical state of metals. Okay, okay students, in your small classes, you already studied three states of matter. What are they? Solid, liquid and gaseous state. Is it? Yes. Here, the most of the metals are exist in solid state at room temperature. Okay. Yes. Here, the most of the metals are exist in solid state at room temperature. See? Physical state of metals. Most of the metals exist in solid state. Which state? Solid state at room temperature. Example, we already know some example of metals, is it? Yes, Cu. Yes, Cu is copper. K, potassium. Fe, iron. See this iron link. This exists in solid state. See this iron link. This exists in solid state. Okay, next one is AG. AG is silver. AU is gold. Na, sodium, etc. These all metals are exist, most of the metals are exist in solid state. But here one exception case that is mercury. Mercury exists in liquid state at room temperature. Okay, mercury exists in liquid state. So, the physical state of metals, most of the metals, most of the metals exist in solid state except mercury. Mercury exists in liquid state. We use mercury in thermometers. Okay, so the next physical property of non-metals that is physical state of non-metals physical state of non-metals here the most of the non-metals are exist in solid and gaseous state at room temperature okay so most of the non-metals exist in solid and gaseous state at room temperature okay solid metals are solid metals are s sulfur p Prosperous C. Carbon. See this wood charcoal. This is made up of carbon. Is this? Is it? Yes. This carbon exists in which state? Yes. This carbon exists in solid state. And here. Gaseous non-metals are. The most of the non-metals are exist in gaseous state. Okay. So, gaseous, gaseous non-metals are oxygen. Okay. We breathe oxygen in air. Oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, helium, etc. Okay, here, here also one exception case. That is bromine. Bromine exists in liquid state. So, see, bromine exists in liquid state at room temperature. Okay, all of you understand? Here, the most of the Non-metals are exist in solid and gaseous state except bromine. Bromine exists in liquid state. Okay, all of you understand? Okay, the next physical properties of metals and non-metal is hardness of metals. Hardness of metals, hardness of non-metals. So then, the hardness of metal is, see, this is 
iron nail. I'm going to cut this iron nail using knife. See what happened? I can't cut, is it? Yes. So the most of the metals are very hard. Okay. So because of this hardness nature, we the metals, these metals are used for making tools, machineries, buildings, etc. Okay, so most of the metals are very hard. Is it? Yes. See, most of the metals are hard. Example, iron, aluminium, copper, etc. Okay, so here there is one exceptional case. Okay, here sodium and potassium are soft metals. So, sodium and potassium are very soft metal. So, this sodium and potassium we can cut using knife. Okay, then the next is hardness of metal differ from metal to metal. Okay, okay students, you just uh, imagine one thin iron sheet. Okay, then... We are going to cut this thin iron sheet using scissor. What happened? We can't cut this iron sheet because this iron is very hard. Then we take the, the next we take thin aluminium sheet. Okay. Then we are going to cut this aluminium sheet using scissor. What happened? The aluminium sheet. We can cut the aluminium sheet. So, here the iron and aluminium are metals. They are hard. But here the iron is more harder than aluminium. Okay. So, hardness of metals differ from metal to metal. Example, iron is more harder than Aluminium. Okay, all of you understand? Okay, students. The next is hardness of non-metals. Okay, hardness of non-metals. Okay, students. See, this is wood core containing carbon. See? See, I am going to beat this wood core using hammer. See? Okay. See what happened. This is carbon. Is it? This carbon is non-metal. This carbon turns to powder. Most of the non-metals are not very hard. They are soft materials. Is it? Yes. So see they are brittle in nature. What is meant by brittle in nature? When we beat up it, it will broken down into powdered form. That is brittle. Okay, here the non-metals are not very hard. They are soft nature and they are brittle in nature. Okay, example for non-metal is carbon, sulfur, prosperous, etc. Okay students, all of you understand? In our next class, we study the next properties of metal and non-metals. Okay students, thank you.